On the Mississippi River tonight, one question, will the levees hold? The raw power caused by a wall of water was on display again today, overwhelming one levee and cutting off a key bridge connecting Illinois to Iowa. The federal government said today, 27 different levees are now in danger of overflowing. Amtrak service throughout the Midwest is disrupted, and most barge traffic in the upper Mississippi has been halted. And perhaps the biggest concern, the toxic stew of chemical and sewage in the water. Cynthia Bowers is in Burlington, Iowa. Good evening, Cynthia. Good evening, Harry. I am in Burlington, Iowa, where the Mississippi is still rising. It could go up another half foot before it crests sometime overnight or early tomorrow. It's already way out of its banks. You can see behind me this community hall, which is underwater, should have sidewalk out to it and well beyond it. It doesn't anymore. But people here are hoping that all these sandbags will be enough to save the town. Because as you alluded to, the economic costs of this historic flood have already been tremendous. Five days after floodwaters took over her Cedar Rapids home, Ann Graves saw it today for the first time. Uh, start over. Yep. That's what we're going to do. She and husband Mike say their homecoming was bitter rather than sweet. Love gone now. Everything is a total loss. If I sit and mope about it, then it'll just sit here and I won't do anything about it. I just got to go on. Thousands of other residents are still being kept clear of their waterlogged neighborhoods, swamped by Cedar Rapids' worst ever flood. The Cedar River started its record-breaking rampage last Thursday, cresting in Venton more than five feet over the old mark. In Cedar Rapids, it was 10 feet higher. Folks along the Iowa River weren't spared either. Iowa City broke its old high water mark by three feet, Columbus Junction by four. Both rivers are now pouring into the Mississippi. Officials in Burlington were out today monitoring its levels, but emergency managers like Leroy Lippert are not only concerned about the rising water, but what is in it. What sort of potential toxins are in this water now? I think raw sewage is probably your biggest one, and then farm waste would be your second, and thirdly then would be uh, probably farm chemicals, including diesel fuel. All that puts Iowa's $1.5 billion hunting and fishing industry at risk. There's worry most pheasant nests have been washed away and concerned chemicals in the water will wash down into the Gulf of Mexico, causing massive fish kills there. And already harvested grains can't get to market by the Mississippi. More than 250 miles of it are closed to barge traffic, which could raise consumer prices yet again. We'll probably have a minimum of at least a two-week closure, and that's if it doesn't rain anymore. That's if it doesn't rain. That's what people are hoping here. It has been clear for three days. There is no rain here through the forecast, which, Harry, could be huge for towns downstream on the Mississippi. Cynthia Bowers in Burlington tonight. Thanks so much.